Welcome to In 5 Minutes. Today's topic would be deadlock recovery. It's a last phase of deadlock handling. How would you recover from a deadlock? There are only three basic ways. The first one, you will restart. By saying restart, we'll restart all the processes. This is the most basic and layman's way of handling the system. I'm sure many of you might have got the blue screen in Windows. We don't get worried about whatever is written to that blue screen. We'll simply do one thing, restart, and some magic happens and the window starts normally with the boot screen and other things. So phenomena is fairly simple. You restart it and hopefully whatever glitch, whatever error, whatever deadlock happened was taken care on its own. If this doesn't happen and again system meets with the deadlock, then remaining two techniques are used. Among that, the first technique would be Ask user. Now what intent do we mean by this? Simple. We already know that deadlock is due to endless wait or rather circular wait where each process is waiting for other. Each process is waiting for other. Now in this scenario, who is supposed to be stopped? Who is supposed not to be? Suppose we have three processes as we are showing P2, P1 and in between P3. Now only user can decide whom to print. So concept is fairly simple. Decide who to go. Maybe user takes a call and decides that P3 should be killed. Why? Maybe P3 because not that important. As an end result, what would happen is P1 and P2 might survive because now the dependency of P3 is gone and the system should work without any problem. The third technique of handling or recovery from the deadlock would be use preemption. Now use preemption simply means one logic. System would simply close needed processes to recover from any deadlock. This generally has been seen with our Android phones. If you remember when we start some application and it doesn't work, after a certain amount of time, it gives you a warning message asking what it should do, whether it should close, whether it should wait, or whether it should report this. This is the same mechanism. So to recover from deadlock, we only hardly have three basic options. Restarting processes, Ask user so that user can decide what he wants to. Maybe user would decide whom to print or allow system to print needed processes so that other processes should survive. Thank you for watching this video.